Brooke Drum with Printerbot.com and in this short video we want to talk about how to hook up everything besides the power on the extruder board and the printer board. So here we go. So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm taking a regular printer board which none of this would be plugged in, these wouldn't be plugged in. A regular printer board powers all of our printers. Now the cool thing about the printer board is you can add on a triple extruder board used for either double or triple extruders. And to be clear, one, the first extruder is always coming from the printer board. The second and or third extruder will be powered here. The heaters will be powered here. The motors will be powered here. And the thermistors will plug in here as well. So it has its own power. So one extruder always comes from the printer board. And then you can add on an extruder board. And also you can add on a LCD board. Now you can do combinations. You don't have to plug in the extruder board. Um, you can use just the LCD and the printer board. You could do just the extruder board or you can do all three. So there's already instructions on how to hook up the uh, printer board. Um, I don't even have the regular motors plugged in. All I have plugged in here is the power and the motor, the thermistor, and the heater for extruder zero. Now I want to um, since I'm already getting into uh, how the extruders are named, I'll, I'll finish. Extruder zero is here, and then it's kind of like binary. Zero is the first one. And then uh, the second and third, or uh, extruder one and two, I know it's confusing, are, are powered here. That'll come into play in a minute. But I want to explain that to hook this up, we're actually on github.com slash printerbot. Very hard to see on that screen. But on printerbot, or I'm sorry, on GitHub, G I T H U B dot com slash printerbot, you will find all of our firmware, the source for all of our firmware, and then a bunch of hexes for different configurations. The one we're using here is printerbot LCD extruder firmware. So this is kind of what we're calling the unified firmware, where you can plug in the printer board with LCD or extruder or all three extruder board or all three. So you're going to have to get that extruder. I loaded that straight from the website. We don't have a train, but we have a compressor, so uh, that's going to be loud for a second. Anyway, I just loaded that firmware on uh, a minute ago, so I know that it works and it powers this up. All right. So what we want to do is next plug in the extruder board and LCD. So check this out. The LCD plugs into the center of the board. There's an expansion here called, I can't even see what, what it's called, let me, let me look. That uh, seven pin times two is EXP2. And uh, that is what you plug in the LCD to. Now it's very important that the red, which uh, I'm using for the negative, the red pin is on, or the red strand, is on the right and when you come over here and you look at the, the uh, LCD like that the red is on the left. Got uh, the red on the left on the LCD that means the, the negative is on the left there and the red is on the right when in this orientation so make sure you see how I'm plugging in here as it relates to how I'm plugging in there on the same 14 pin it's a 7 pin times 2. And that's just something you can order, but we send one with that. Now, the extruder board has the, this is tricky, so check this out here. The orientation here is the power here is on my left, and the red is also on the left. And I'll trace that over to here, where in this case, the red is on the left. So you have to have, kind of flop it. I have the wire folded down, but so left, red, on the extruder board, left red, win in this orientation. So kind of pan back and make sure they see how they're both hooked up. Um, that's important. And by the way, the on the on this front one with the extruder board, that one's called EXP or expansion one is for the extruder board. Expansion two is for the LCD. Alright, so I've got it powered up. And I've got these plugged in, both expansion boards. And I have extruder zero, which is really my first extruder, or E, if you're using Pronterface or whatever. Um, 
XYZ E motor is there for Mr. Heater. Over here, I'll look in. You don't have to see this on your camera, but I want to show you that the second extruder is called hot, uh, is called A. The third is called B on the board. <laughs> so it's like confusing. But anyway, so the motor A is here. Thermistor A is here on the bottom. And the heater A, I gotta see, is here on the right. So heater B on the left, thermistor B on the top, and uh, the hot end, or the motor B is on the bottom. So anyway, they're, they're all labeled. So match up the A's with the A's, the B's with the B's. Um, so it runs over here to the, I've got the first extruder, E, plugged in here, just for an example. And this is all the hot end and thermistor for E that runs back to the printer board. Hot end A, which is my second hot end, is uh, here. And then I've actually got a, a triple extruder scenario set up here. So on the extruder board, it's marked as B. The uh, motor, thermistor, and power B are here. Now, I know we're getting into naming confusion here, and I hope you'll forgive me because when you pull up, I've got on this old computer, um, I've actually got Pronerface, but it all kind of relates. Now, for some odd reason in Pronerface with our firmware, it's hard to see that, but T is, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it says T. And now, if I go T0 and hit enter, it says, oh, I got to. I gotta turn it on and connect. So the fan's going. Look down here, you'll see the LCD come on. Boom. And then up here, we I'm gonna connect. This is in proner phase, but it could be. Let me reset. Sorry. Of course we have connection issues. Try again. There we go. Now we're connected. So it's all ready to go. Now, back to uh, how to how to use, um, there's only one set of, in Proner phase, there's only one set of, uh, you know, heater uh, temperature settings uh, for the thermistor, and there's only one extrude. <laughs> so, uh, what I do is I say here, hey, I want to deal with extruder E, or the first one, or like I was saying earlier in binary, T0. So check this out, T0, enter. I can set the temperature. It will know I'm dealing with the E extruder as marked on the printer board. And I'm going to check the temperature. And you can see it's rising. I think this is even an old version of product phase, but it's my test bed here. So it is rising. Now if I go down here and I kind of put my hand over this hot end, don't do this at home, it's definitely hot. So I know that it's getting power from as marked on my printer board E. But in printer face I called it T0. Are you confused yet? You will be soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I can, while that's heating up, because it'll just handle it, um, I'm going to say, okay, so T1, listen to me, I say. So in the G code line, I put T1 and I send. And now this transitions, the uh, thermistor stuff transistor, or transitions. So I say, okay, set that at 195.2 and start checking the temp. You'll see it change from 90 to 56 because this other one hasn't been heated up yet. And so my second extruder in printer face T1 on the extruder board uh, marked as A and in English I call it the second extruder. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so this is heating up. I can feel it heating up. It's getting hot. Currently at 97. If I wanted to go back to T0, the first hot end, I can check that. Temperature's 185. And now that it's up uh, around the uh, right temperature, I can make sure my motor works, so I'll extrude. You can see it extruding there, or at least moving. So I know that, hey, uh, my printer board is working my um, E extruder, the first one, T0. 
zero. It's all working fine. Oh, I'm burning my mat, but there we go. Oops. And then let's try to uh, change over to T1, which is my second extruder. Check the temp. It's only at... Oh, I said T2, sorry. T1. Checking temp, 166, 169, 170. I don't know if I can extrude yet. Yeah, there it goes. So I'm just extruding on this one. It should be this one. Sure enough. Oh, interesting. I'm noticing that this one is set. Oh, for heaven's sakes. This one is set to uh, move the wrong direction. So in a minute, I'm going to have to reverse my A motor on the printer board by just flipping the plug and plugging it in because that's running the wrong direction. Something we should probably fix in the firmware. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, let me go to the situation where you can add a third. And there's an important note on this part. So, Dave, what do you think the third extruder is called in Prime Face? If T0 is the first one and T1 is the second one, T2. All right. So T2, I'm going to say, listen up. T2, which is my third. I'm going to say set at 197, check the temperature. It says 51 degrees and 53, 54, 55, 57. So I know that it's listening to T2 and it's warming up. And it won't rotate until it's gotten up to the proper temperature. But once it heats up, I'll be able to um, turn that motor and check that motor for direction as well. Um, this triple extruder was actually set up to work with uh, Wade's extruder, and I have a mix here. Uh, that's what's confusing the direction, if I'm thinking through this clearly. Um, but we can easily f swap the direction of the motor by just changing the plug. And so you would uh, never unplug this while it's on, but I would turn it all off. I would find A, which is my second extruder. I would go 180 degrees and plug it back in. So you've kind of walked through everything you need to get uh, this connected, powered up, plugged in, powered up, and everything turning and moving. So what we have not covered is how to build the mount. And I've got one over here, and we'll do that in the next video.